Hey everybody, welcome back to the VMP Performance Channel. I'm here at the VMP shop in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. And in front of me, I have a package. Not just one package, two packages. So these are engines that just came in. Um, these are the latest and greatest from Ford Motor Company. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back to my V6 days though to remember how to work on them because there is a, uh, there's one cam in each of these engines. So in total, we have two camshafts between two engines. Really weird thing for a Coyote aficionado, uh, a mod motor, GT500 aficionado to only be working with one cam, but it's what we're gonna be doing here. And we're gonna be supercharging these puppies. So uh, let's not mess around anymore. I'm gonna open this thing up and we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do with them. Here it is in all of its glory, the Ford 7.3 liter Godzilla. It brings a whole lot of cubes and that is actually really, really good for supercharging. Larger displacement engines, they take less actual boost pressure to make power. And it's kind of a weird dynamic. Let me explain it as succinctly as possible. The supercharger still has to move a ton of air, but it has to do it at a lower pressure ratio. So it's a lot more efficient. It's just a lot happier. There's not as much stress on intercooling and things that we have to contend with on the small displacement Coyote engines. So I'm really, really excited about slapping a big honking TBS on this engine. We've got an excellent platform to work with. This factory intake manifold is absolutely huge. And one of the defining factors in a supercharger design is how much space do you have between the runners? You know, height is important, but also width is important too. And this thing has got an absolutely monster valley it's still the same design as all of the Ford modular engines where the cylinder head mating surface is flat. It's not tilted like the GM style engines, but it's flat. So it makes the intake manifold design really, really easy. Um, Ford gave us a great freaking platform to work with here. You've probably seen other people playing with the 7.3s online. They make a ton of power. Um, it's just a great platform. And finally, we have cubes. We've got a lot of cubic inches here to work with. So all in all, I'm really, really excited about designing the VMP supercharger kit for this engine. You know, the question is, what do we put these two engines in? We've got a lot of different stuff around here. I mean, heck, we've got track attack up there on the lift, but track attack's a predator swap. That's kind of its own special thing. I think we're just gonna leave that alone. We got Rebecca's old race car up here, which is back together with a 5.2 liter, by the way. Um, Rebecca's got that new race car though, back at the house, and uh, that thing has no engine. And we got something else over here. Uh, this is my first Mustang. It is a 2000 3.8 liter and it currently has no engine or trans. So we got a lot of stuff around here that needs us an engine. And um, we got to design a badass supercharger kit. So, hmm. Tell us what you think we should do with these seven threes. I mean, just tell us everything. Where should they go? And uh, what do you want to see in the supercharger kit? One of the things that I've heard already from the people that are doing engine swaps into the older cars is that this throttle body angle is just absolutely so this throttle body angle it's it's kind of weird it points up at the hood when you have this engine in a car um, it's fine for the trucks not something you want in a car so we're already thinking about how do we make 
the cold air set up a little bit easier to digest, a little bit easier to package, having it come straight off or around from either way. So that's the type of feedback we're looking for from everybody watching. Feel free to drop a comment. We wanna take you along on this ride of VMP developing a supercharger kit for the 7.3 liter. So give us all the feedback you've got. We'll see what we can make of it and we'll get to work on these two engines. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.